This woman wrote about her pregnancy and eventual abortion in her diary, including when her doctor told her, this baby isn't gonna make it to birth. You need to get out of state. In 2022, Lauren Miller was ecstatic to learn she was pregnant again, this time with not one, but two. She and her husband, Jason, began preparing for a life with three kids and nicknamed the twins Los Dos. Today is September 23rd and it's not a good day, Miller wrote. It was at her 13-week appointment that it was discovered baby B was showing signs of some abnormalities. Further testing showed it was much worse. It was trisomy 18, a condition that usually ends in miscarriage or stillbirth, or if the baby is born, they die just a few hours later. The longer baby B stayed inside of her, the higher the risk for complications for baby A and Miller. Miller decided to heed the warning of what another doctor told her. You can't do anything in Texas, and I can't tell you anything further in Texas, but you need to get out of state. So she and her husband, terrified of things like Texas's bounty hunting laws, booked flights for Colorado for a single fetal reduction. When they returned, the couple was terrified. Would one of the nurses, doctors, or ultrasound techs report her? Instead, everyone talked around it. They simply said, it appears that baby B has passed. Baby Henry was born in June, just weeks after Lauren joined the lawsuit that nearly 20 women filed against Texas against their abortion ban. In her testimony, Miller said, my pregnancy was not my own. It belonged to the state. 